Hello, okay, so today I'm just going to show you how to turn normal footage into slow motion in DaVinci Resolve 17. So this is great if you've got a few shots where you or your cameraman, like I'm going to blame, has forgot to turn the frame rate up, or if you're like me today, you're using some stock footage that is recorded at 25, 24, whatever your base frame rate is. Okay, so the first shot we've got here is a wedding shot, and I find this works great on wedding shots because there's not that much movement going on and the program can handle it really well. So here is the footage. And what we would do is right click, change clip speed. Now I always make sure ripple sequence is selected because if you don't have that on, the clip stays the same size and it gets a bit confusing, but with ripple sequence selected, it'll extend the clip according to the time that you've set. So let's put the speed at 50%, enter, and you'd be like, oh my god, what have you done? It looks terrible. But if you go over to inspector, scroll down to the bottom where it says retime and scaling, retime process, and turn that to optical flow. Let's have another look. See. For this shot, this works amazing. I mean, you can see a few discrepancies here and there, but honestly, I don't think most people would ever notice it. Okay, now I'm gonna show you another shot where it can work even better. So on this one, we just have a simple shot of a woman smiling. Okay, and because there's not that much movement in this, we can even push it a little bit further. So when you right click, change clip speed, and let's try and push it to 25% okay and then retime process on optical flow okay let's see what that looks like so there you go you can see it's a tiny bit blurry but I don't think again most people watching this are gonna notice that so for shots like this where there's not that much movement you can push it a little bit further okay there you go if that's all you wanted to know you can stop now but I'm going to show you a, another clip where it half works and half doesn't and what you can do to get around that. So here we have some dude pushing his weights. There we go. Now, I want to change the clip speed again, go through everything, 50%. Okay, so let's have a look at it. It looks good up there. Then when it goes over his face, it's like the bar is just morphing his face. So let's undo what we've done. Then we're going to right click on it and go down to Retime Controls. Let's zoom in. So if we find the part where the bar just gets past his head here, then we can add a speed point. So now we can change this speed to 50. So the first bit is normal and the next bit is slowed down. See, so then you don't get any strange effects. And there we go. Pause it again quickly now. Add another speed point. And then when it comes back down and it makes that weird morph, we can change that to normal time. So you just get the good part in slow motion and the rest normal. There you go.